M Zero Nation, are you monitoring your engine health? Hello, M Zero Nation. Welcome back, Jamie. Here, I'm sitting here in two three Mike Zulu as of right now. Just started up a little bit, and I want to talk to you about one of the most important things. It is, and especially as you go through progressing your training and maybe into aircraft ownership, which is proper engine management. And we take almost the biggest part of that because we're the ones that are manipulating the engine the whole entire time. So. Starting off, there's a couple different phases where I want to talk about properly managing the engine. And what I really am talking about is leaning the engine uh, properly how it should be used. So, after you start off on the ground, especially if you have a longer taxi or extended periods of time at idle, one of the things that I want you to really take care of is the mixture. I want you to go ahead and lean that mixture back, especially if you are at a sea level to 3,000 foot airport this is going to do one actually three things for you which is it's going to make sure that you are not running too rich where you're not burning too much fuel it is going to prevent fouling of the plugs and excessive carbon buildup this is the same thing that goes for in flight so for the time being, whenever you're taxiing on the ground, I want you to lean that mixture back and I want you to get in the habit of leaning it back and follow your checklist to a T so you know exactly when to put that mixture full rich if need be. Now, if you're at an airport that's above 3,000 feet field elevation, then I want you actually to depart with maybe a little bit less to have the optimum power for takeoff. That's the important thing. We don't want to be running too rich. On the ground, one thing that I use in a defense of taking off without having full mixture if I need it is I wait until I cross the hold short line before accomplishing my before takeoff checklist. So, with that being said, I've already done my run up. I've accomplished the latter part of the uh, before takeoff checklist, so now I'm going to get into the normal takeoff checklist, which is going to be wing flaps up, carburetor heat is cold, mixture is going to be full rich, so I'll go ahead and go full rich. Elevator control, lift at 60 miles an hour, I'm going to climb 75 to 85 miles an hour. That's going to get us into the climb phase. So let's get frequencies all set up. I'll taxi up for the runway, because I'm all set, ready to go now. No one's around. Left, right, and center. And let's get out of here. McCollum Tower, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, shorter, runway 27, ready for departure. 23, Mike Zulu, McCollum Tower, runway 27, cleared for takeoff, proceed on course to north. On course to the north, approved, cleared for takeoff, runway 27, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. We are cleared for takeoff, so before I cross, I'm going to get my lights on. I've verified that that is the runway that I'm going to be departing off of, and I have my mixture full rich. Alright, so now that I'm heading on course, I'm going to go ahead and knock out my climb checklist. The uh, airspeed's 80 to 90, I'm doing that throttle is full open. And the mixture is going to be start, it's rich until we reach 3,000 feet above mean sea level. Next will be the cruise checklist. All right, so now that I'm up, fast forwarded into the cruise phase, there's a couple different things that I wanted to talk to you about engine management and doing it properly. Now, whenever you lean your fuel to your engine, it's important to follow what your manufacturer describes. So looking into the POH or the AFM. Now, an engine monitor can very much enhance your situational awareness whenever it comes to your engine. So first things first, the from a general standpoint, leaning the engine, we, as I discussed on the ground, we want to do it to one, not use as much fuel, two, prevent fouling, and three, prevent carbon buildup. Those are three things that we care about whenever we fly and to prolong the life of our engine and spark plugs. 
on top of that, it's important to, for us to get the best fuel efficiency. If we're not getting the best fuel efficiency that we can possibly get, we our numbers that we calculate on the ground may not be accurate for the flight that we're doing. So very important to pay attention to that. But I want to draw your attention to an engine monitor because especially if you have an engine monitor located in your aircraft, that will very much build on your situational awareness whenever it comes to engine monitoring oh, and fuel management. Heading 015, down to 5,000, up to 676. So you can actually look through several different things that we have through the engine monitor, including exhaust gas temperature, cylinder head temperature. We can look at a comparison in between the two. We can look at a normalize, which is very important because we can actually look at trends over the time that we've had these installed in the engine of how the exhaust gas temperatures and the cylinder head temperatures have been acting throughout the life of the motor. We can lean it for a rich of peak. We can lean it for lean of peak differences and everyone has their own opinion on how they like to lean but at the end of the day I'm all about fuel efficiency and managing the engine as best as possible but for the time being it's nice to be able to go out and fly and manage your engine and get the best fuel efficiency that you possibly can as of right now I'm doing about eight gallons per hour just because I'm a little bit down low but we're still lean because we're at above that 3,000 feet like I said earlier, if you're at a high density altitude airport or a high elevation airport, it may be important to lean it out prior to takeoff just to get the maximum amount of power. On that note, that is day 14 of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. What do you think? We're already two weeks into the Safer Pilot Challenge. Actually, 14 days into the new year. It is crazy, but we're here to make 2026 your best year yet. I want to thank you for everyone to tuning in. I want you to keep studying hard. I want you to keep flying smart, and I want you to keep the passion for aviation alive. Thank you, each and every one of you, for joining, because remember, a good pilot is always learning. I'll see you all tomorrow for day 15. Hey, aviators, before you take off, don't forget you can try m 0 Way Online Ground School completely free for two weeks. Jump in, explore the lessons, watch the videos, and take that virtual discovery flight and see exactly how our understanding-based teaching helps you master aviation, not just memorize it. And when you're ready to keep going, we've got options. Choose an individual course like private, instrument, commercial, or CFI FOI. Perfect if you're laser focused on your next certificate or rating. Or take things further with one of our curated pilot success memberships Golden Bronze gives you unlimited access to all of our manned courses, webinars, and bonus content designed to help you grow from a student to safe, confident pilot. Don't forget, we also now offer a membership tier specifically designed for those pilots who just want to stay up to date and have tools at their fingertips. Perks Pass. There's no courses, but still all things knowledge. So start your free two-week trial today at m0a.com trial and discover why thousands of pilots trust M0A to make aviation learning simple, effective, and fun. Because remember, a good pilot is always learning.